Hey, what up? This is Dirty. So recently, I've been working on this uh, little project, if you will. I'm um, kind of coming up with... I wanted something that I could keep making, you know, and just kind of play around with the design. So uh, I made this, what I'm calling the Poon. And uh, if you see my last video, is the Steamy Poon. Because um, it had kind of a steampunk uh, design on it, if you will. And I gave it that nice bronze finish. Um, but I can... But I've done other ones before that, just plain... Um, you know, experimenting with some different colors. So anyways, when I did put up the picture of the Steamy Poon on my Instagram, one of my follow followers said, you know, why not make a <clears throat> zombie poon? And, you know, I thought that was a great idea. So that week I kind of worked on a design. Um, and, I, you know, I kind of played with a bunch of different things, you know, zombie heads, uh, skulls. And you just kind of looking at different zombie aspects. Um, but with the limited space that I have to, you know, work with the design, um, I thought what I came up with was pretty cool. Um, so I'll show you right here. So, of course, the dimensions and everything is the same for all the poons. Um, you got about a two-inch cutting blade here, um, chisel ground, and all titanium, and a thermal mold sheath here with it too. And some people are saying like that I should round this tip here. It's, it's, it's like a rubbery material, so it's not very. I mean, I can push on it pretty hard, and it's not going to puncture my skin. Um, but you know, it could be cut and rounded, I suppose. But anyways, I think it works pretty good as a, you know, a little lightweight sheath. But let's check out this finish. So the finish is going to change a little bit just because of the oils on my hand. Um, of course, I'm going to wash all these nice and clean before they go out. Um, just so you know that there's a little bit of staining over here just from the oils on my hand but so yeah here it is um I went with a brain pattern I guess uh, I thought it matched you know zombies brains you know so and of course I got this toxic kind of green color and actually what I did was I left these in the multi etch that's kind of like the acid they use to get these nicer colors I left it in there a little bit longer so it kind of gave it like an aged finish um, kind of took down the the sheen of the brushed parts and it kind of gave it a cool you know undead look I would say so that's what I'm calling these these are the undead poons give it that you know zombie looking writing and uh, even put the biohazard symbol on the back and then threw my logo in the middle but I think they came out pretty dope um, you know, I, I, like I said, I was trying other designs. Uh, I wanted to maybe put like a zombie hand grabbing the words and all kinds of stuff like that. But there just really was enough space to do what I wanted to. So I think the brain gave it that cool look and I think it came out pretty cool myself. Of course, uh, with the other poons, you got your quarter inch hex hole. You can use it as like a wrench for screwdriver bits, um, chisel grind you know right or left I try to make you know at least a couple left hands just you know because I had a bunch of left hand friends growing up and they're always upset when you know you walk into a classroom and there ain't no left handed desks and stuff like that he used to always cry about that so I gotta hook up my left handers you know what I mean um, got this jimping up here and it also kinda serves as like a almost as like a barb you know so if you stuck it into something hopefully it grip on a little bit better and also this little finger groove also serves as that and so far I've done some tests with it and it works pretty good um, if you do follow me on Instagram you might have seen a video already I put up uh, me and my nephew I attached one of these with just with some duct tape onto a uh, arrow and shot it out of a it's a youth like 15 pound compound uh, compound bowl and it stuck pretty good I even shot through a um, soda can right through the bottom I'll throw a picture up of that um, using my tester poon so um, so far as an arrowhead they work pretty good um, I really am trying to design something where I can attach it to a three-prong spear uh, a lot of guys use that here in Hawaii um, they could screw it right onto it so I wanted to test that out uh, for now I might just try to find a good stick and make a, you know more like a survival spear and try to take it out one day and see if I can get a fish with it or something I would try for my fish but the largest one I got is an Oscar and he's kinda like my only Oscar in there so I don't really want to stab him but uh, maybe I can get some tilapia or something later that I can stab and then eat after you know not just waste them but yeah um, I think these came out really cool um, the green I love the green on it 
Of course, you got the carbonized edge. A little random, little, I don't know what you'd call it. Flamish kind of look. Of course, you got that razor sharp edge. So you can see it there, yeah. So I tried to make these really, you know, give it a real thin edge right before I sharpen it. So it's nice and sharp. Um, of course, the titanium is not going to stay as sharp as hardened steel, but it does pretty good. Um, like I said in the you know the description of these, I would use it as an emergency knife, more for a spear, arrowhead, harpoon kind of thing. Um, yes, it will cut, but it dulls pretty fast. Sorry if you hear those little silencer shots in the background, I'm catching some text messages right now. But yeah, anyways, um, check out my site. Oh, hold on. Let me show you. This one is a special one. So, of course, these are the regular undead poons. Um, like I said, you can check out my site. I got one right hand, one left hand ready to go. And I actually did a special one. This is a one-off. I'm not going to be doing any more of these. Um, so, it's going to be a one-of-a-kind. I'm calling it the half-infected poon. So, as you can see, it's half pink, half toxic green. See that little line in there where it changes, and it's kind of like, uh, you know, maybe a um, this poon just got bitten, so it's halfway through the changing process. So I thought it's kind of unique, something different. But like I said, there's only one of these, and this is on my site also. Um, same dimensions and everything as all the other ones, but there's just going to be one of these, like I said. Um, also, if you check my site and say you don't, you know, you're not digging the undead finish or the steamy, um, I did put. I believe I have two: one left, one left hand, one right hand um, pre-order. So you can choose uh, what finish you have, what color, um, stuff like that. So you know, if you're interested in that, check it out too. Then you can get kind of your custom finish, whatever you want. But. Other than that, um, actually, I got home early today. I'm going to try to jump in the shop. I'm working on two dive knives right now and a bunch of other stuff. So hopefully I can get some more of that stuff finished. Hope you guys are having a good week. And the weekend's almost here. Anyways, it's dirty. Shoots.